Okay, Maria, you won your game against Gillian today. Tell us something about the game. Uh, I think I got an advantage in the opening and very comfortable position to play. Uh, and I'm not uh, sure why my opponent gave up a day six pawn. It seemed to me that it was probable, probably to play to play queen c6 instead of bc. And still, uh, though white uh, is better there, I'm not sure that it's enough for the win. Okay. Right, should we have a look at the game? Okay, Maria, we're looking at this position in, I don't, what do they call this variation against the Sicilian? I can't remember. Yes, yeah, very sharp variation. Yes. And I was quite surprised that my opponent chose exactly this line because it looks like white is quite aggressive here. And it's yes. hard to defend with black. What were you and, expecting in that position? Uh, here, my opponent started to think for a long time, maybe for 15 minutes, and I was quite happy because it was clear to me that he didn't prepare for the game, at least mm -hmm. this line. Yeah. Uh, so he played 97. 97, yeah. Possible, yes. So g5 is continued logical. Continued with you. I think we have to take on d5, take on d5, and Queen b6, yes, and here I thought maybe I could immediately play an idea b5, but mm. it looks like this is not the right time because of a6, and if I take, 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 and then my pawn on b2 this one here, yeah. is hanging. Yeah, okay, so this is a safer, safer. Mm -hmm. a6. a6 was played anyway, yeah. And I decided to develop my last piece as the rook on a1, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to move your bishop out. For, this always looks awkward to me in front of the bishop. Uh, actually, this move is quite standard in okay. these types of positions, yeah. so it's okay mm -hmm. because if I play knight d2 and then after knight e5, uh, the square yes. on f3 will yeah. be weak. Yeah, and you haven't decided where you want to put the light squared bishop yet, or have you? Yeah, indeed. Well, yeah. my actually my plan was to play f4 and then e5 or f5. Okay. Not do anything with the bishop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> at the moment. At the moment, okay. yes, okay. Right, so knight f6 was played and castle's queen side. Mm, so my opponent wanted to make a castle, it's yeah. logical. Yeah. And Bishop a3, not sure that is the best move, but of course a good one. <laughs> at least I think so. Yes, yeah. Uh, Queen he goes C7. back queen c7. Yes, queen c7. And here is an interesting moment because on queen c7 I also considered f4 immediately, but it looked like that black had an interesting defensive move. Okay. Yes, your bishop <laughs> yes, has and a I didn't want uh, to yeah. give up Good. my g5 uh, bishop yeah, mm -hmm. to exchange it for the knight. So yes. I decided to play knight d4 and now if uh, black plays bishop e7 or castle, then there is no longer this move knight g7. So, and after mm. castle, long castle, I played f4. Most probably after bishop e7, I could also play f4. f4 yes. And he completes, well, carries on developing mm. with bishop e7. Mm, f5 looks logical to logical, me. Logical, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes, king b8. Uh, Okay, maybe not the best move, but uh, I don't think that it was the main mistake. I mean, when I took on c6, I only considered taking on c6 with the queen. And uh, of course, I'm better after e5. Mm -hmm. Take, take, and king a8. Uh, king a8, yeah. Yeah, so I can have better structure <coughs> after fe. Maybe I also have rook g1. I yes. mean, of course, I'm playing for win here, but uh, okay, the material is equal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that looks better, doesn't it? So what's wrong with beat? Well, I suppose this pawn, apart from anything. Yes, I immediately took the Which pawn took. on a6. Yeah. And after e5, I think it should be technically winning. Just uh, yes, it's have just to play precisely. Just a pawn up and very exposed black king. And black doesn't have much counterplay, I suppose, is the assessment. Yes, it's not so easy to play mm -hmm. d5 because mm -hmm. uh, I'm protecting everything here. Yes, you even have this threat of taking on f7 as well. Don't you? Yes, I was uh, happy about that's, it. That's quite nice, yeah. 
If bishop on e8, then the bishop no longer protect the queen, and I can have an idea. So it's yeah, yeah. Uh, regrouping my rooks. Yeah, so it just carries on. And yeah. bishop f6, I was very happy with this move because if bishop takes, so then I have a queen before, and if uh, yeah. gf would happen in the game, then I'm I'm too active here. You're chasing after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Played rook yeah. g7. Rook g7. Yeah. So you're you're having all the fun really in this position. Yes, I was sure that the position was very it's just good completely won. One. Yes, yeah. Is there anything else we don't have to look at the whole game? Is there any other nice little? I like the move right at the end. Oh, and then okay, you can show it. Yeah. Should we look at that one? <laughs> yeah, I just, I mean, six. there are other wins here. Yes. Uh, but this is rather nice, isn't it? This move. All I need is to regroup my knight to f5. Yes. And then to strong. That's pawns. right. The pawn. The bishop can't come this way because the pawn goes through, and there's nothing much you can do after this, is there? Um, no variation. And uh, it's horrible because just no can't defense. move anything. Can't move anything. Okay, thanks very much, Maria. Thank, Thank you. you.